Wednesday, December the 23rd. Uh, I'd like to start out by uh, wishing everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'd also like to thank all my customers for the past year that have uh, given me the opportunity to take them out on a guide trip. Uh, it's been a fun year. Uh, we've caught a lot of fish and uh, hopefully you guys that went out with me got the opportunity to catch some fish and learn a lot. Uh, lake level is right about 9.15 and I was out this morning, just got in a little bit ago. Water temperature is crazy. This is the end of December and the water temperature is still 56 degrees is what it was on the main lake this morning. Uh, if we don't get winter, it's, I don't know what's going to happen come springtime. You know, we may have a real early spawn, but I'm sure, you know, we'll get some winter. But it's probably not going to bring that water temperature down to where it normally gets. But pretty much, uh, last couple times I've been out, we mainly just deep fished, vertical fished, with, with the ice fishing jig, like what we've been talking about, and a spoon. Not so much on a drop shot, but uh, the other day I was out, we caught some fish on a jerk bait over submerged timber. Uh, the trees were about 12 to 18 foot deep and uh, caught a couple on an A-rig, but today uh, mainly all we did was vertical fish to a spoon. Now, uh, Pig Sticker just come out with a, a little spoon he's been working on. I don't know if he's got them for sale yet, but uh, I just got them this morning from him. It's a prototype he's made. And I know I've said, I don't, you know, I think when them deep fish are biting real good, I don't think it matters what kind of spoon you drop down to them, you know. When they're active, they'll bite about anything that's moving. But what he's done on this one is pretty unique. He's added a little bit of weight to the bottom right here by the hook. And what that does is when you're vertical jigging it, you know how a lot of times your line gets hung up on the hook? This will help prevent that quite a bit. Another thing he did was he drilled a little hole up on the top that gives more weight down here, a little less weight up here. But also, when you're jigging it, uh, you, you can do it right below the surface. You'll see there's a little bit of bubbles that come out. So it's got to be making a little bit more noise. I, and I found today where this made a difference. When the fish were biting good, it didn't matter what spoon we dropped down. Uh, but when they, the deep fish started getting a little fussy, you know, when they would look at the bait and follow it up, we actually got more bites on his new prototype spoon than we did uh, like a war eagle or a jewel. And something else he's also done, he made it where it's soft enough where you can actually bend the bait where if you want a little action similar to like what a flutter spoon's got. And this is something you sh that you can do when the bite slows down as well. Just by putting a little bend in that, give it a little bit more flutter, make it fall a little slower. So, you know, I'll play with it quite a little bit more over the winter. Uh, but like I say, today it definitely did make a difference when the fish got got fussy. Another thing he's doing, he's putting a little swivel right in on, on the top, which I really like this because this helps keep your, your line twist out. But fish seem to be in the same spots. You know, they've been for the last two or three weeks. We're still fishing the centers of the deep coves. Uh, now, not every cove has them, but whenever you find them, I mean, I've been able to go back to the some of the same coves for, for two weeks. I don't catch them every time, but even if I don't catch them, I can usually see the fish and the bait. Now, the, if you go back in their pockets to where it starts to flatten out to about 40 foot is all that you got left, then work your way back out. Today, a lot of the fish were pretty close to the bottom. Other days, you'll have to back out a little bit deeper in the creek to where you're setting in 60 or 80 foot, and the fish is suspended anywhere from 30 down to 45. Today they seem to be about 35 to, to 42 feet deep, either on the bottom or just real close to it. And just like normal with the deep fish, whenever we would hook one, the screen would light up and you'd see you know, several more fish in the area. Uh, I'd also like to thank all the uh, our women and men in the armed services protecting our country and you know, protecting us, allow us to do what we love to do. And, uh, I mean, the good Lord's blessed me. I've got an awesome job. I get to go out and fish every day. You know, sometimes it gets to be like a job, but most of the time, I mean, it's pretty good. I look forward to going to work every day because usually every day is going to be a little bit different. So, uh, 
I'm really blessed to have that opportunity to do that. So this is probably going to be my last fishing report for this year. Uh, we'll start them back up right after the 1st of January. So till the next fishing report, good luck, good fishing.